So we all know what 2030 is. 2030 is a, is when uh, Satan squares off with Jesus. You know, of course, he gets his butt kicked, but he needs to build a global army. He needs to get this world set up. He needs to fortify this world so he can hedge his bet to beat Jesus in 2030. Basically, mm -hmm. what, the, what the 2030 agenda is all about. seven-year acceleration plan to achieve the goals of sustainability by 2030. Yeah. Okay. So we all know what 2030 is. 2030 is, a, is when uh, Satan squares off with Jesus. You know, of course, he gets his butt kicked, but he <laughs> needs to build a global army. He needs to get this world set up. He needs to fortify this world so he can hedge his bet to beat Jesus in 2030. Basically, mm -hmm. what, the, what the 2030 agenda is all about. <laughs> yeah, he, he he even knows what the scripture is. He knows what what his fate is, but he's still he's not he's not still thinks down. he can do it. He's still not backing <laughs> down. <is he? laughs> That's oh, optimism. Uh, well, wow, yeah, you're gonna go down. You're gonna go down with a fight, right? Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. One thing that brother Tyler was talking about was the thief in the night, and I think we we're talking about the last time, John, the thief in the night. All yeah. right, yeah. and. um so the Lord's been showing me a lot of 11s, all right? The 11s have been a confirmation for me that the rapture resurrection, it has something to do with the rapture resurrection, and I'm not going into all how the 11s are all over my ministry right now, okay? But I was born on April 11th and all, all this stuff, okay? I'm in my 11th year of my ministry, and just all these 11s, okay? Yeah. But what's been happening to me, it's becoming so comical, is I've been seeing 11, 11 on the clocks. I mean, it just like, and I don't, I don't try. It's just whenever I look at a clock or something, I check something. It happens on your show, John. Every time I come on your show, I, I check something. I was like, "Oh, John is eleven, eleven. You know, so it's it's comical. But I believe what's going to happen. The for, the more I see those eleven, eleven, the frequency as it gets quicker, the quicker the rapture resurrection will be. I still can't tell you the day or hour. I can't tell you where the needle in the haystack is. If you go to, I'll give you guys an example. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. um, Acts 1 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same wow. Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall come to you in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Okay. So this is us seeing the Lord again. And then if you jump to Acts 11 verse 1. What does it say there? And the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is the body of Christ. All right. So right there, 11, 11. And Jesus talks about, you know, we were talking about the thief in the night, John, when the thief comes, he comes at, we were talking at the, uh, the third watch. Was it the, the first watch the evening? All right. They came to get, Christ, but in the third hour of the evening, they okay. were in the Garden of Gethsemane, and the thieves, or the you would say the high priests, right? Or the not, no, I'm not, not the high priest, the the chief rabbis came with the elders. That's where we were looking, and it's right. interesting that they came to get him in the evening time in that watch, right? But in the next, when he was on the cross. It was in that third hour. So it was the sixth to the ninth hour. So he died on the third hour. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and it, it has a lot of connection to be ready for the third day. And then here we are looking at the, the third day is coming. You know, we're at the end of the second day right now. And right. the third day is getting ready to start. Yeah. So. And then remember that dream I had when I went to heaven and I was checking in at the uh, checkout counter. <laughs> yeah, it said eight seven one 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 one. Then she turned it around. Oh yeah, gave me Love my room story. number one 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 one. So there's mm -hmm. something there, and I don't understand what it is yet. But I think it has something to do with the rapture because then the Lord showed me this. So I was watching TV. TV with my wife. She likes watching a show called Medium. Okay, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Yeah. And this woman just has dreams of people breaking the law and stuff like that. Well, I don't usually watch it. I usually have my headphones on, listening, watching stuff here from you know Brother John's channel or whatever. But I do look up occasionally to see what's going on. And just like the clocks, I looked up, and I in this particular episode, there was this girl. She was caught 
on camera stealing something from a store. Okay. And the camera actually went to the actual the actual camera they had on the, the monitor they had that was showing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is what showed up on the monitor as soon as I looked up. Oh wow, look at that. One 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 one. Look at the girl. She was stealing a thief. She was stealing this this man robot. Yeah. So one 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 one, and here's a here's a thief stealing. Jesus said he'll come and get us like a thief for the night. And here I see this thief stealing this small male robot, a small man child. Hmm. How about that? At the one 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 mark on the monitor presented on this TV show, God was showing me something here. Something big is going to happen that aligns with eleven eleven. Okay, <laughs> stuff like that. And then I looked at the other picture. Remember I showed you a picture of uh, uh, those those little watches. They were red, white, and black. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. The first four horse, the first three horsemen before the fourth. All right, the mm-hmm. final. And what they have one 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 all the way across. But that was for me. I'm seeing that for myself. Yes, I was, was going to say it's people. personal. It's personal. Yeah, it's personal. It's, but yeah, I share yeah. it. But I know there's folks here who've seen the eleven eleven as well. Well, people have seen the eleven eleven. I'm one of them. John, you know, we've all seen that at some point in our lives. Hey, folks. Hope you're enjoying this segment from Uptime. I just want to add in this special little section right here. After recording this uptime broadcast, we found out about the visions that Philip Barnett received from the Lord and the significance of 1111, especially November 11th. And I think this is one of the reasons why we are seeing it so much. Check it out. Reason November 11th is because the pilgrims came over on the Mayflower and before they landed, they wrote out the Mayflower Compact, a covenant that the pilgrims would found a nation that would be a city on the hill, uh, like the old, te- like the nation of Israel. America would become a nation like Israel, a city set on the hill. And so that took place on November 11th, 1620, over 400 years ago. So November 11th, America has now broken the covenant. We allow men, our Supreme Court allows men to marry men, women to wear, marry women. We've aborted well over 60 million of our babies. We know better. We broke it, not God. Our nation broke the covenant, murdering millions of babies. Homosex. I'm a school teacher. We're faced with this in the schools. It's a constant problem. Okay. So the nuclear war will take place on November 11th. The nuclear war will take place. On November 11th. Very interesting. He also mentioned that the vision he received from the Lord dealing with all this, he received it on November 11th, 2007. So we have this whole, we have this mega, mega traffic jam of alignments lining up right now for 2030. Okay. We have a CBDC coming to this country starting right. Actually, they got the digital dollar out now. They actually came out a month and a half early. What a surprise. Mm-hmm. Okay. Usually, if it's something bad for the, if it's bad for you from the government, it's out early. If it's something good for you, it's like two or three years past the date they promised it. You ever notice mm-hmm. that? Mm-hmm. Like shot to the arm. Oh, it won't come out till twenty twenty one, late twenty twenty two. They had that thing out early twenty. Years ago. Yeah, twenty twenty. They had that thing ready to go. Oh, of course, you know it's bad for you. So, of course, they had it out early. I'm so sick of that. Yeah. I'm so sick of this stuff here, man. Just everything that's bad for you. No you know, problem. Like the weeds in your grass. It just don't have to plant it. They just pop up. Yeah. So now this whole thing with Bitcoin, they're, the banks, supposedly these large banking institutions are now starting to embrace the Bitcoin, uh, you know, the whole Bitcoin cult, <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. if you will. Yeah. Uh, and so why are they starting to embrace it? Well, in my own mind, I think this was all planned, pre-planned to begin with. A lot of people will say, no, that's not possible. Uh, yeah, I think it is possible. Um, we still don't know who this Satoshi Nakamoto is, where he came from, uh, if it's a group of people or whatever, the, the creator of this Bitcoin. But now there's talk of this, these institutions making it so that 
they may have their own forked version. A fork, uh, Bitcoin fork is basically a copy of the Bitcoin uh, version that's already out there, blockchain. And they're going to force all these uh, retail investors to go onto their own forked Bitcoin. And everyone's going to go on that. And eventually they're going to try to make that law as to where uh, that is the real money, where the real money is, and not this uh, original design for Bitcoin blockchain. So that's very interesting. That's something to keep an eye on because as you see these large institutions start to take over, which we can see the banking consolidation going down, going on. They, uh, there's this anticipation supposedly of uh, only coming down to six major banks by 2024, I believe, uh, yeah. if I remember that correctly. Um, some of these sources you can find online, but I'm just giving you a general overview because it's not, the stuff is, you know, we don't care too much about the banking area, but we can see as we get closer and closer to a one world currency uh, with the new world order, all of this stuff comes together and you can see that they're gonna have total control Fed now, which is the uh, middleman between uh, your retailer and the bank, okay, they're going to start policing um, your purchases, but eventually they'll have a currency that will replace your, uh, you know, the fiat currency. So Fed now will basically now they can start policing your what you do with your credit card, your fiat money, because what happens is say you buy something on Amazon. And if if the if the if they dial it in quickly, Fed now could say, uh, we noticed that you bought this on Amazon here. We know you know, but you you already bought one earlier this month. You don't need it. We're gonna reject that order and it'll get rejected. So wow. now you got that. Wow. So, so, they're so, that, that, so they're bringing that around and, and it's looks like it'll take them a little over a year until it's a final stamp on it which is 2024 of next year yeah. which we're not worried about being here for that next year when the un places that uh digital currency connection to your bank account it's a global id okay and that's what that that's what this um september october november december uh covenant with many is supposed to do it's going to bring in this new world global deal and and with that that's connecting this whole system to every bit of money doesn't matter if you have gold you won't be able to use your gold in any outlet to buy anything because they will control if you have this um a global id so mm -hmm. if you don't have a global id you're not taking part in the system and so it's we're seeing it man it is like unbelievable how quickly this is happening yeah it really is, it really is. and the control it's mechanisms that's what we're seeing set up or getting set up. It's exciting right, to us, got, though, isn't it? It is amazing. Got, um, yeah. Should you got the you got the they got the money system setting up, but then they have the law system setting up right right yeah. alongside it. That's where the social credit scores come in. We yeah. actually created the whole social credit score system and gave it to China. Then China took and perfected it. Okay, they they ran it. They 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 mastered it, and now they're bringing it over here. Okay. <laughs> And for, unfortunately for all of us, you know, if you've ever gone in this side here or said anything anywhere, they've already grandfathered you in when this thing takes place. They're going to be like, okay, you said this, this, and that. You will probably, like me, they'll probably just come and arrest me, okay? <laughs> They're not like, this guy has a problem. We got to get rid of him, okay? Yeah. So I'm really, um, you know, and I'll be honest with you guys, I'm always ready for that. I'm always ready for something like that all the time. I told my wife, I got one foot is in, we'll be around for some time to come. The other foot is like, I'm waiting for the big flash to happen in the distance and get blown to kingdom come. <laughs> or to get that knock at your door and say, hey, you know, we see what you do online. You're getting arrested. We're, you're going to the gulags. I don't I'm have... always ready for that. Time to go up. If I disappear and yeah. just disappear, okay, then you know what happened to me. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Perfect timing. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> My brothers and sisters in Christ, 
Listen, a great end time move of God is happening right now, and this will only continue for a short amount of time. And we as believers working in his vineyard need to capitalize on this great revival taking place right before the rapture resurrection. And that is what we're doing here at Feed My Sheep today. We are a faith-based nonprofit that funds Christian missions all over the world. And we are doing this through our missionaries who are sharing the gospel of grace, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, the hope and love of Jesus Christ finished works at the cross for our salvation. And they're accomplishing this by preaching the word verbally and also by video presentation. Many people watch these video presentations of the life of Jesus Christ and him dying on the cross and much more. And they immediately come to the faith of believing in the finished works of Jesus Christ for their salvation. This is a very effective tool. And after this is all done, we provide free Bibles to all those who are new believers that joined the body of Christ. And on top of all that, we are also providing these people with free humanitarian relief aid to help ease their suffering situation. And you will receive the same reward as our missionaries because now you are partnered with them through Feed My Sheep today when you financially support this cause. Because in 1 Corinthians 3 8 it says, Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Who is the planter? You are when you invest in the Feed My Sheep today, when you plant your seed into this work. Who's a waterer? The missionaries and everybody that works underneath them because they use this money and liquidate it and turn it into something that's usable for the kingdom of God. Like Bibles and humanitarian relief aid. Nothing sits in a bank and collects interest here everybody. It is turned into something that's usable for the kingdom. So please help to keep your Feed My Sheep today going strong. Here's how. In the description box below, there's a link to our website. It's feedmysheeptoday.org. Go there. You can give by credit card, PayPal, bank draft, or simply send your gift in the mail. You also see the option there to become a monthly sustainer. If you can't give big right now, over a period of time determined by you. We greatly need monthly sustainers because if we have an idea what's coming in the next month, we are then able to plan ahead and make sure we have enough material aid and Bibles on hand in time to go into these areas so that we can be effective. Because of the supposed pandemic, there are delays in getting this stuff now, so we have to be able to order this stuff in advance. So we are definitely looking for new members to join our monthly sustainer family. And don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel, Feed My Sheep Today, so that way you don't miss out on any of the things happening with the funding coming into this ministry. So thank you all so much for your support. May God bless you all.